Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today's video is going to be my second installment of Backtrack, where I talk about all of the hikes that I went on the previous month. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon family. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews and just general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you enjoy content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. And if you want more content from me, you can always support me over on Patreon, where for as little as just a dollar, you get two extra videos a month. So let's get into the video. This 16 mile loop is one that I came up with by connecting various trails like the Metolius Windigo Trail, Crater Butte Trail, and the Snell Lake Trail. There were many little lakes and ponds throughout the loop and the fall colors were popping. Battle Axe Mountain is located in the Bull of the Woods Wilderness and was spared by the large 2020 Lion's Head and Beachy Creek fires, which converged right there in this area. The views of the Cascade Mountains to the east and the rolling foothills to the west are absolutely breathtaking. You can make this hike into a loop that is a little bit longer, but we heard trail reports of the loop being very overgrown, lots of downed trees, so we decided just to go back the way we came. Olali Mountain is a 7.6 mile round trip hike located near Blue River and it is one of those underrated hikes that has epic views. This trail burned in 2017 but it has been worked on and is in very good condition. From the top you can see from Mount Hood all the way down to Diamond Peak and in the fall the autumn colors are incredible and the fireweed was sending its cotton-like seed pods to fly through the air like snow. This was the last day of the season that it was very warm and I got to wear shorts for the very last time until next year. Round Mountain is a 9.8 mile round trip hike located near Prineville. This trail takes you through a beautiful mostly ponderosa pine forest but we did also see a few large trees along the way. It's a steep hike gaining almost 2,000 feet of elevation to the top which unfortunately has a radio tower that is quite the eyesore. On a clear day you can see the Cascade Mountains but honestly there are better viewpoint hikes nearby like Lookout Mountain. I would give this hike a 2 out of 5 stars. Unless you have hiked everything else in the area, it's probably not worth your time. Twin Pillars is a six mile round trip hike located in the little known Mill Creek Wilderness. We did this hike from Bingham Springs Campground and went as far as the Twin Pillars. This was an unexpected gem with all of the large trees and our lunch spot at the base of the Twin Pillars was really cool. Gordon Lakes Trail is one of those longer trails that has an east and west trailhead. We started at Gordon Lakes and hiked east to Gordon Meadows, which will be stunning in the early summer when the wildflowers are blooming. We hiked through some early season snow, saw some fox and cougar tracks, and along the way we saw lots of different types of mushrooms. This hike was very easy and the trail was in excellent condition. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any hiking trail suggestions for the state of Oregon, let me know and I can put them on my list. If you don't already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. That's where I post all of my recent hiking and backpacking adventure pictures. And if you want to hike and backpack here in this amazing state of Oregon, check out my website, hikeoregon.net, and you'll find tons of information there, as well as get access to the hiking guidebooks that I've written over the years. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next adventure.